Oh, you have to get up so they can see you. I oh my gosh, I just did her hair. And then she rips it out. And so look at her bangs. I, I really did do her hair and it was super cute. And then she just rips it out right after I do it. And then her bangs are like everywhere. <laughs> oh man. I what am I going to do with you? Your hair was so cute this morning and now it's like bangs everywhere. Anyway, she's so cute. We still love her, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Your hair's like everywhere now, babe. You had your first dance class. Bye, bye. Hey, you had your first dance class. Did you like it? You loved it? Did you have your first dance class? Bye, bye. She had her first dance class and she loved it and she was like the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh, it was like the cutest. Oh, I just can't even get over how cute it was with her little dance outfit and her little dance skirt. So cute. Yes, baby. So today I'm going to do a review on the Perfection Lumiere Velvet Foundation from Chanel. Very fancy. And uh, I didn't love it, you guys. Um, I got this about a week ago. I ordered it on Nordstrom and you know I love the texture of it it's like a thinner consistency a sheer coverage which I personally love like it reminded me a lot of the um what was it the Lancome Nude Miracle except for that one's just a little bit more runny than this one but I mean it's just like a thinner consistency and it went on beautifully and I was like oh I'm gonna love this because the consistency was perfect the coverage was perfect but it did not hold up worth a darn like you know and this is like a $45 foundation and it's Chanel so you kind of expect a lot um, so I used it with a beauty blender, I used it with my Sigma Angled Kabuki brush, I used it with my MAC Stippling brush, and I'll link all those brushes below in case you're, you want to know what I'm talking about because I forgot to bring them in here, dang it. Um, but yeah, I used it with my fingers, I mean I've used it with everything, and it just did not hold up at all. I'm just looking down at my notes, I'm sorry. Um, so it lasted on my skin about four to five hours before it was completely breaking down my nose like at four hours my nose foundation was completely gone which my nose eats up foundation anyway but usually it at least lasts like eight hours on me because i don't have my foundation on a super long time like i usually have it on about eight or nine hours but people that had to like go to work in the morning um and then come back at night and had their foundation on a really long time this just i mean four to five hours and it's like it looks really bad and it like just breaks down and I could just see in the summer, I mean, it being completely an oil mess. And like my skin isn't super oily, but it's not like dry. My skin's very like kind of normal. Sorry. Oh, that was very attractive. There was an itch right there. Um, my skin's like, you know, combo kind of oily. I wouldn't really call it super oily. I get oily on my T-zone, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit here. So yeah, the T-zone area, my cheeks and everything like that are just normal. I don't have overly, um, you know, oily skin, and this is supposed to be their more mattifying version. I guess the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua is supposed to be more, like, hydrating and more dewy. This is supposed to be more natural kind of finish, um, and it just made me an oil slick. Like, it, I put it on, and an hour later, my nose was just an oily mess, and that doesn't happen to me very often. Um, I mean, I definitely get oily, you know, and I have to, like, touch up, but it was, like, bad. And I was just so unimpressed. I was so sad because I wanted to love it so much. And it's $45, so it's kind of expensive. Um, but it just broke down. I keep looking at my notes. Sorry, just to see if I wrote anything else down. But it just broke down so much. It just made me so, so sad. And so I am going to be returning this. I don't love returning things, but honestly, the way I feel is if you buy something higher end, especially with Nordstrom, they are so good with returning. And they even give you like a free returning label so you don't have to pay anything for shipping to return. And, you know, that's the way I feel. You know, if you're going to spend your money on a more expensive item, you should be able to return it if you don't want to. And especially where I don't have a Nordstrom or a Chanel anywhere near me, the closest one is like four hours. And so it's unpractical for me to drive four hours just to go to like a Nordstrom and a Chanel. Um, and so, you know, I order online sometimes because I want to try things. And sometimes they don't work out, unfortunately. This one didn't. Um, I've had it for about a week and I've used it about four different times. And so I really, I mean, you can really get to know a foundation well from using it four different times. It did the same thing every single time. And it's not even, I'm filming this like in May. Um, it's a little bit chilly today. That's why I have a sweater on. But it's... Um, 
it's not even like that warm here yet and so I'm like in the summer this would just be terrible and so anyway I am gonna be returning it um, I'm actually gonna be returning it today I just thought I'd do this quick review in case anybody was curious about it I know some people just love this foundation and just go on about it and rave about it and I've watched reviews where it's very mixed some people really like it some people don't like it at all and so I thought I'd just try it out and you know I love trying foundations those are one of my very favorite things to try and unfortunately it was a dud so Anyway, I thought I'd just give this little review about it, and um, I hope you guys liked it. And, you know, maybe try it out for yourself. Maybe you'll love it. It just, it wasn't for me. So let me know below if you've tried it and you like it. Let me know what you liked about it. Um, I wanted to like it, but, you know, unfortunately I didn't. It has a very, very florally scent, which I wasn't very happy with. I don't, I didn't love the scent. You know, Chanel is sometimes very florally. If you get a Chanel blush or the um, Le Beige powders, they have that very florally okay. scent. Um, I didn't mind it just because once you put it on your skin, it like disappears and you can't smell it at all. If I could smell that all day, it'd be very troublesome. Like with lipsticks, I'm very picky about that because I don't like that scent. But um, with face products, it's, you know, it's not a big deal usually just because they kind of disappear. So it did have a very floral scent, but it disappeared very quickly. Once you put it on your face, you couldn't even like smell it. So it wasn't a big deal. But anyway, that is my review. I hope you guys found this helpful. Do you want to say anything to the camera? Would you like to say any words? Pie, pie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like I and subscribe. Pie. And please comment below. I love reading comments and I always try to check out people's I channels. I treat now. Yes, you can get a treat now. You are so good. Um, I love finding um, people's channels when they comment. I like to see if they have a channel and kind of check out their videos and stuff. So let me know and I will talk I'm to you guys later. Now. Do you want to say bye? Bye. Oh my gosh, you just threw that across the room. Okay, bye guys.